Hey, what's good, y'all? I'm back, and this is a quick disclaimer. I cannot post any more raw scan of these chapters anymore. I did catch a copyright strike from the last week's um, chapter review of My Hero Academia, so I can't post them anymore. But they will. I will be posting the person's Twitter that I was getting the official raw scans from. All right. So please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. I'm in, out of the algorithm now, so I'm trying to get back into it because of the strike. So just please help me out there and let's talk about the new chapter. Okay, so we're talking about chapter 425 out of season of MHA, all right? The chapter starts with Tamaki and Nedri receiving their diplomas. Several male students are crying because they're sad at Nedri is graduating. Present Mike is DJing and saying that since they don't have cherry blossoms, he's gonna liven up the graduation ceremony. So pretty much I did expect this also, like I kind of really did expect them to actually, you know, start pushing the characters forward in their development in this in the hero world society. So class 3A, the seniors pretty much, they're going, they're going to be professional heroes. Everybody else, everybody else in class 1A is going to 2A, they're going to be new enrollments. So basically that's what's going on in the scene right here. Kirishima says it feels more like a festival than a graduation and a narration reveals it's already June. Tamaki asks Nedri if her injuries have healed and says it's all thanks to Miruro. Y'all know I have to push something every week, but since he kept taking care of them and the flying UA after, they were defeated. So basically, this is just a recap of some characters. Like I said last week in my previous review, we're just catching up with other characters. We're seeing where they are. We're seeing what they're doing. We're seeing if the people that are injured are getting better. But this time skip is kind of bigger than I thought now. This, this is actually the second time skip within this chapter. First, we had a three-day skip. Now, I feel like we had a few months skip. But let's, let's go on to the next panel. The narration then begins to describe everything Nezu has done in the reconstruction project. He's a well-known figure worldwide and was already negotiating with other countries, preparing to deal with the consequences of the war. Now, we already know what happens in war. Hodoroshi, um, I, he, he is actually making this more real, realistic than I thought, honestly. I did not expect him to make the chapter like this. I didn't expect him to, okay, now Japan was just at war. Now the world is stepping in like, yo, what is going on? Like, I didn't expect this, so it is kind of refreshing to actually have some real world things that are happening within this chapter. Because not for nothing, that was a big fight. That was the fight to end the series. So just seeing how things played out after is actually really dope, really refreshing. So I got to give my props to him for that. Miro says that they lost many things and gained nothing. The heroes are always trying to turn negatives into zeros. The students from all departments use everything they learned at UA to help in the war, but still haven't managed to get back to square zero. Now see, reading this, it feels like they are literally out of resources. Like, not for nothing, they used all their resources for battle. They're trying to find a, a, positive, a positive light, but it just seems like they can't find it right now. Like, this battle with Shigaraki really did take a lot out of everything like out of everybody everything the country the people it does seem like a lot so this like i said this is really great i'm really enjoying the spoilers because it's actually showing what people go through after war so i gotta give him a shout out for this gots to give him a shout out for this they've studied for three years to prepare for what comes next and the finish line isn't today and there won't be a bright future without humor so their goal is to create a world of positives not zeros in which everyone can just smile just watch sir night eye now in my opinion they're trying to make the best out of the situation like i said very realistic very realistic but in my opinion you have to give them at least we if you're gonna sit here and go this route at least add some type of development around japan to at least give you know the the people inside the story a reason to be hopeful if, I understand construction is going smoother, but it does seem like everybody still has a negative annotation towards the war. I don't think that's really, I think it just you just need a little bit more positivity in this chapter to at least promote the good that it's, they are trying to achieve. So right now, this panel, this segment kind of throwing me off, but we're going to go right into the next one. Miro then activates his quirk and then the 
Harazanzani Bimimi. I y'all know I have to butt butcher something every 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 video. The giant eyelashes car crashes into the stage. And all the students laugh and Miro says goodbye to the second and third years. Cuts to 2A temporary classroom. And we see Awaza is their teacher's. So yes, Awaza is back as a teacher and he went up a grade. So he's staying with class 1A now that they're class 2A. I do appreciate that. I do like that. He just was at war with these kids. So if there's going to be anybody that they're going to sit there and be taught by, it should be Awaza. That's just my opinion. I do like the direction of that. Ashido is very happy that they're having classes with Awaza again. Cheryl asks Bakugo if he shouldn't be in the hospital. And he says the doctor allowed that as long as he keeps quiet. Awaza asks Anami to enter the classroom and he announces that he's leaving UA. Now, once again, this is class 3A. Going, going to be professional heroes. This was bound to happen. They actually earned this. I feel like they, everybody should... Honestly, all the kids, they just fought in this war. They should they should just be qualified heroes. But I understand graduation. They got to get out of school for their hero license. So I'm not really mad at it. Jiro asks if he hasn't changed his mind. And Amawa says that Tisaki, I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all know I'm a bush it is. Tukasaki said he could stay, but he feels that leaving is the right thing to do. Since he joined UA at All For One's request, he feels like he had no right to go to third year graduation ceremony. I mean, like I said, just let him go. Let him go. Let him go do him. This is what is supposed to happen. I'm glad he's not trying. Kodorochi is not trying to sit here and keep some characters behind just to make us happy. It's time for some of these characters to move on. And it does open. I'm not going to sit here and say there's going to be a spinoff. I'm not going to sit here and say this epilogue will be longer. But it's good to know that you're moving, you're making waves so that we can actually focus on class 1A, which is class 2A now. So this right here is very good. Very good, Horoshi. It do get better. I heard he's sick. So we might not be getting chapters for a couple weeks. But I heard he's sick. Him and Gege is sick. But shouts out to them. Prayers to them. Get better, y'all. But let's talk about the next panel. So as an atonement, he's going to walk the path of heroism from scratch. After all, he held the hand Deku reached to him. Oriyama then starts crying while smiling as he offers Deku a cheese. Oriyama tells Awaza that one day he will stand side by side with his friends. Just a sentimental panel, sentimental page, just, you know, everybody is letting their feelings flow. This is normal. Let's get to the next page. The students are moved by his attitude and to stop them from crying, Oriyama starts shooting lasers in all directions and reveals a Saraz. Shino is going to be um, joining class 2A. The students are so excited that Amura even feels left out and fires the lasers again. Not for nothing bro, you kinda was an op in the beginning of the war, you kinda do all the reason why I started. But we're not gonna sit here and not for nothing, we, we're gonna let you slide bro, we're gonna let you slide, you did a lot of fucked up shit. Amura's lasers then make Hagarachu visible and Nita is shocked. He's about to say there is a goddess among us this whole time, but I was a chokes him with his capture weapon. Mata Fua then arrives in the classroom to update the second years of what they'll do right now. Hey look listen, we seen how she looked. She does this, this that was actually a beautiful character. So I ain't gonna be mad at him. So we just gonna keep going. The second and third years will be going around the country to keep her safer and help with the reconstruction under the leadership of Fua. His three books will talk about the period after All Might's retirement and after the Battle of Jaka, but much of this chaos will not be documented. In my opinion, this is kind of something that is happening like in America right now. I don't like how that they're trying to hide what happened and like at all. This is not a good thing. This actually, I feel like, does take away from everything the heroes decide. I, it, not it doesn't take away, but it does kind of prove staying right like the heroes will sit here and try to make the world look better than what it actually is i don't like that this fight the characters that were in the fight the villains they should be documented not as in praise because why would you praise the villains and don't get me wrong but as in a way of saying hey this is what happened this is a big part of history in my opinion they shouldn't take this shit out they shouldn't take it out at all but 
Let's 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 get to the next page. I don't like this. I don't like that. I don't like that they're trying to erase what just happened. I don't like that. Shoso says it was during a chaotic period like this that awful one was born. Fuwa says goodbye and that she advises 2A from for not going through Azawa's expulsion prank. That was scary, but is what made her understand why she wanted to become a hero. Shoto, I, I understand, but at the same time, I don't understand because not for nothing, you kind of are, like I said, a new all form could happen for some from somebody being at the wrong place at the wrong time. I really don't, like I said, I don't like them doing this, but you know, I can't be mad, but I don't really like it it's not really fair to everybody that was included in this battle for you to just sit here and erase it like that doesn't make any sense for while is and deco still looks pensive after school the students say that they're excited about the new first years arriving tomorrow deco goes to talk to uraka but she interrupts saying that he had to shave his head because of surgery and hopes she hopes it grows back so that's the reason why deco has a mohawk now is because he has surgery and I'm kind of happy that him and her are actually trying to, you know, see where things are going. This feels like that they're actually going to try and be a couple. It's been hinted at the whole fucking series. So actually seeing them try to actually push them forward, it does feel good. So I do like this. I do like this page that they're talking about right now. Sato compliments Toriyama's new look because now his hair looks all frizzy. Tokiyama says it wasn't intentional, but he likes it too. We see a panel of Yurikama smiling while Deku still looks sad. Cuts to a mysterious painting man walking through the destroyed streets. Now, all right, let's talk about it. This looks like Shigaraki. The only person we've seen in the series to walk through the streets with no pants, with, with, well, with messed up pants and no fucking shoes on is Shigaraki. If they bring back Shigaraki this fast, literally one page after one page well not one page but one chapter after his defeat it better be for a good fucking reason if he's not back to give him all for one oh no no not all for one one for all back to deku i promise you it does this will not be good because one <clears throat> sorry y'all one i feel like if you're going to bring shigaraki back Use one for all to increase how strong his regeneration ability was to bring him back and then give him, give Deku back one for all and then have him finally, have them have a conversation and then him finally dust away. I don't feel like they had the proper send off for Shigaraki even though it was a good send off. I don't feel like it was the proper send off. So my opinion that, look, listen, if you're going to bring Shigaraki back, give Deku back one for all and then have them have a conversation and then let everything be. Deku asks Shoto if he's going to Amuro's farewell party and he says yes, as long as it's not today. Deku looks worried but Shoto says he'll be okay. He takes his steps in the opposite direction and we see Endeavor in a wheelchair facing some kind of giant device. Chapter ends. Now, I, I don't know who it could be. Maybe it's his son. I don't really remember his name at the moment which is fucking crazy but... Maybe it's his son, but hopefully, hopefully, Shoto and Endeavor can wrap up their arc. I really want these last few chapters to just wrap up everybody's story, all right? I feel like we have about five chapters. I feel like they're going to end at 4.30. I feel like we're going to have at least five more chapters of them tying up loose ends, but comment down below how y'all feel about the chapter. I know I butchered a lot of names and things in this. But not for nothing. This is a, this is just the epilogue, so we can't really sit here and critique it because this is the end of the series. I'm trying to be respectful as possible because I know Horoshi is going through some health crisis. So the next two weeks, he's off. That's good. Let him rest. Let him get his you know his feet under him. It is the end of the series for him. He's been doing this for quite some time. So hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And I'm out. See y'all in the next one.